This video is sponsored by Zendor. Has this ever happened to you? You're driving an EV and suddenly you find yourself out of juice. And you can't just go to a gas station or carry a gas can with you. What do you do? You turn to a gigantic battery pack that can add around 50 or so miles of range to your car, all from something to keep in your trunk. Let me tell you about it. So before I tell you about this granddaddy of all batteries uh, and what it can enable, I wanna thank you guys. I've been doing this now for a while. I love the chance to say thank you, give back. Thank you for your support. Thank you for overall just being awesome. You can win 500 buck gift card to anywhere that you want. So let me know in the comments what you do with the Zendor Superbase V, what cool thing you would power, but leave your social handle so I can contact you if you win, run it for 10 days, open anywhere in the world. All the information will be down below. So this behemoth is the Zendor Superbase V, and it is one of the most powerful, most adaptable, and most unique battery solutions that I have ever used or tested. And I think saying big, giant, portable batteries are becoming a dime a dozen these days is an understatement. They're all some form of really good, and I've covered a few of them here on the channel, and they all generally do the same thing, but the Superbase V takes that as a baseline, and that's things I didn't think I would ever see from a portable battery pack. So this suitcase size box is a 6,400 watt hour battery on wheels. And it is on wheels, and it's actually motorized. You can move it around anywhere. And you can actually control it like a little RC car uh, from the app as well. And because it's packed so big, it's heavy. So these motorized wheels make it really easy to move around or, you know, just race it around your studio. But it doesn't stop there. There's not just one battery, but this is a whole ecosystem of batteries that you can apply to any part of your life. So what we have is the Super Base V here, and you can add capacity to it with these satellite batteries, and they stack right on top of each other. They actually add up to eight of these satellites, the system up to 64 kilowatt hours. And think about how big batteries are in electric cars, you start to realize how big that really is. And just for comparison, that's like 85-ish percent of like the battery pack size that's in a Tesla Model 3. It's huge. And because it's modular, you can add or remove batteries depending on what you need or use cases are. Doesn't stop there though. Zendor also makes a home panel. And this is a panel you can install obviously at home. It lets you do a few cool things. It lets you charge the Superbase V system from your home grid, which is important. Uh, but it also lets you level two charge in EV. So this can be your EV charger and your portable battery pack. It is insane. All of that is cool. But the coolest thing about this is that it's powered by some really cutting edge battery tech inside. So the Superbase V is using semi-solid state batteries. Now the whole battery industry is eventually going to solid state, but it's still a few years away. But the semi-solid state setup is gonna give you 42% more energy per pound compared to regular lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are really becoming the norm. Plus, they're safe and long lasting. You can actually get up to 10 years of life out of these batteries. And if you're using these at home, they're less likely to catastrophically fail. They won't catch fire or explode the same way that lithium ion phosphate batteries can occasionally do. So, you're getting a Jimungus safe battery system. It's all in a modular package. So, that's what it is, but what can it do? So, being the biggest battery wasn't the goal here. Superbase V also has pretty much every feature you can think of and some that I did not think a battery pack would ever have. So first is the ports for connectivity. There's a lot. I'll run through them just very quickly here. Up front, you have a display and here you can see everything that's connected and how much input and output is being utilized. Plus you get alerts for temperature warnings or even firmware updates, uh, what accessory is charging, or what port is currently being used. The display also shows you everything you need to know at a glance. And if you want, you can also download the companion app to your phone and see all that information uh, there as well. Below that screen, you got them ports. So there are two USB-A ports, four USB Type-C ports, four 120 volt 15 amp AC outlets. There's a 120 volt 30 amp NEMA TT30 outlet. There's even a 240 volt 16 amp NEMA 6 to 20 outlet. And if that's not enough, on the side you have an Anderson output, car output, and two uh, DC5521 outputs. I had to look up what all those outputs did because I saw these ports, I'm like, ah, it does not look familiar to me. Pretty much anything you can think of to plug in, you can use these four. Uh, and best of all, you can use all damn ports at the same time. So you can be running a 240 volt and 120 volt appliance at the same time off of one battery. 
And as far as I know, as far as I've tested, this is the first product like this that lets you do that. So to charge it up, you got a lot of options. And that's where I think the potential starts to kick in. Uh, first, you can charge up to 3,600 watts of AC power. Uh, on the back, there are multiple charging ports depending on what your needs are. And you can use these to get maximum input. Another way is solar. It actually supports up to 3,000 watts of solar input for charging. And lastly, you can actually take this battery to a level two EV charging station and charge it there. Uh, Zendor sells an adapter that goes from their Zen T2 ports to the regular electric vehicle J1772 port. And you can charge to 3,600 watt hours of power. And I made the joke at the beginning that this is like a gas can for your car, but if an electric gas can did exist, you have to fill it up, the electric version of a gas station. And that's exactly what you can do here. But best of all, you can combine solar and AC input to get up to 6,600 watts of charging at once when connected to a satellite battery. I know I'm throwing a lot of watts and amps at you. If you don't follow that space, it doesn't matter. Just suffice to say, you can use all these ports at once and some of these ports are nuts powerful. That does mean in just one hour, you can add up to 6.6 .6 kilowatts uh, to this battery. And that's something that has never been done before in a battery like this. And that huge input capability means you can use this for a ton of different uses. Just for fun, we're actually using the Zendor Superbase V to power this whole set here. And we can pull out and show you what I'm filming with. Uh, but essentially for prompter stuff, for lights, for audio, everything uh, is being powered by this battery pack. In fact, this whole setup here is using about 400 watts and we could run this whole thing uh, for a day. I think the most interesting way to think about using the system uh, is for your home. So here where I live in Southern California, rolling blackouts are definitely a reality. A few years ago, I took the steps to try to avoid that. And I added solar and battery back up to my house to give myself peace of mind. And I think it's one of the best investments that I've made uh, for my home. Superbase V can actually be that battery backup system for your home. And with a satellite, you're getting 6.4 kilowatts. And all this sounds awesome, but with most things that are awesome, usually there's like a uh, thing you gotta be aware of. In this case, it's the price. Uh, if you decided to add multiple satellites in the home panel, you were looking at well over $15,000. So it's an investment. It's also scalable. So you can look at your power consumption at your home and decide how much energy you actually need to store. And for most people, you're not gonna need eight satellites. So the cost would come down dramatically. The Powerbase V on its own on Kickstarter uh, is just under $4,000 right now. So you can scale it up as much as you want, but that starting price around $4,000 for what you're getting uh, is still relatively competitive. But if you were using this in your home, you can have all the same peace of mind that you'd want for an off-grid system. Now, the home panel connects to your home's electrical system, so in the event of a blackout, power will just automatically switch to Superbase V, and you don't notice sort of any issue uh, at all. This also means you can use the power in the batteries during peak power times, uh, so you can save money there as well. What I really like about this though is they can come with me. So, if I owned an RV or I'm going on a camping trip, uh, my home backup solution can transfer with me for the week and I can use it off grid. Whereas my current home battery system is obviously stuck to the house. There's a lot of cool ways this could be set up and for the price, you get a lot of potential uh, out of it. Uh, another way you could use this is emergency EV range extender. So no, honestly, I'm not sure if it's actually the best way to use this battery, um, but it is possible and it actually works. So if you get this battery in the trunk and ran out of juice, you could actually add around 6.4 kilowatts to your EV. So for example, uh, for a Model 3, that would get you around 30-ish uh, miles of range, which isn't nothing. I'm not saying that's the best option, but it's the first that I've seen that actually works and is EV equivalent to, you know, just a, a gas can for ice vehicles. So the big stumbling block here, I think is going to be price and it's really gonna depend on how you want to use it. If you're pricing this in comparison to Tesla Powerwalls and solar, then it's going to make sense. It actually may seem like a bit of a bargain, but if you're looking for just an external battery pack, it's certainly on the expensive side for that world. But if you want a pack that can power your house, can power your car, is modular, can give you any output that you might need, do it safely, do it quickly, and do a really good job at it. There is nothing else out in the market like this. And if that is your use case, if you are off-grid or wanna be off-grid, you know exactly where you have to look. 
If you want to learn more about the Zendor Super Base V, of course, we have links down below.